It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shade 45. Sway in the Morning, 15 minutes past the top of the hour. Paul Tuttle Sr. is here. Formerly of the uh, Celebrity Apprentice, you know him from American Chopper, right? Yes, sir. Man, that show's been going how many seasons? 10, 10 years now. 10 years strong, man. You live where? In Orange County, New York. Orange County, New York, man. Heart of America. Yeah. Heart of America. You are the American dream. We watched you, you know, take a, a business, a franchise of your own, brand it, and become a multimillionaire. You have wonderful homes. You got a big old family and three very unappreciative kids that you made into <laughs> millionaires. <laughs> a damn shame, man. Yeah. That's just the way it is in America, man. I, I saw the build off you guys did with you and Junior. And he ended up winning. What was that called? What was that episode? The the, the, the it, it just was the biker build off. The biker it was just build, the build off. off. Yeah, and it was live. Yeah, which was different than you know just when we when we unveil the bikes and everything. It was actually live, so it wasn't edited at all. It wasn't edited, no. man. But do they do that, man? Do they make you the bad guy in there? You know, even with the Apprentice, every in, in any show you see, it all goes back to the editing staff. Uh-huh. So you know, you could say all the right things. And the way that they edit it, they get edited where you're a good guy or a bad guy. And when it comes, when the, the reality of it, of it is ratings. Yeah. The TV show wants ratings, and if they got a whatever uh, drama they got to create, that's the way that they're working. Yeah. And and I understand that. So the reality isn't reality. In a sense, in a sense, what you see is real. Um, what they do when it goes back to the editing room is still real but they can put it in perspective of the audience any way they want you know there's a terminology that a lot of people um have used over centuries um in regard to that process that you're talking about that happens in post on a reality show and it's called the hocus pocus they put the hocus pocus on it and then change it into something that didn't really happen, but you've seen it happen before. Does that make sense to you, Paul? Absolutely. The hocus it's pocus, man. Deal. Just say it, man. They're liberating. <laughs> say it. The hocus pocus. Hocus pocus. There it is, man. We got uh, Jay from Denver on the line. Jay, what's your question, man? Hey, good morning. What up? Good morning. Good morning. morning show. Uh, Paul Sr., what's happening, man? How you doing? Hey, I got a quick question, man. How yes, do you call sir. your kids ungrateful? Without Paul Jr., I mean, them designs weren't there. Without Mikey Tuttle personality that show was dead and he would have got cut five years ago you owe 10 years of a show well let me ask you this let me cut you off there okay he hasn't been on the show for two and a half uh years now his last comment was you you when he leaves that i'll go out of the, out of business well our company has tripled okay we're doing a, a chain of restaurants now so you tell me how that's real and what's real and not real listen to this dude those guys never worked a day in their life, okay? Oh. I started the business 40 years ago, okay? They didn't do nothing for 40 years but ride my coat. And if you do observe the show, okay, Paulie is late all the time. He leaves, doesn't come back, okay? There is no power of example there. So is he creative? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Is, is the show very creative now, more so than ever? Absolutely. All right. Hey, hey, Jay, in other words, one monkey don't stop no show, man. Hey, no, but that monkey is continuing the show because he has his own shop and he's making cars and he's expanding into an other world. Wait, wait, wait. Let me hold it there. What do you consider? Putting rivets on a car, making a car? Bullshit. I'm a car guy. I, I collect <laughs> old cars. I collect. I have new cars. You name it. I, whatever kind of car. I've customized cars. When I talk about custom, I'm talking about tubbing them out. Changing automatics to uh, four speeds, you know, uh, completely undoing a motor. What the hell do they do? Put rivets on a on a car? Give me a break, dude. Real quick, Dell needs some advice. She Dell has an ungrateful niece. Uh, talk about it, Dell. Why is your niece ungrateful? Well, um, her grandmother passed away when I was four years old. Okay, from a from a uh, stepfather that abused that he ended up killing her, what have you. And her boyfriend used to be the owner. She had her own place. My niece had her own place. I took her in. You know, gave her a place to live, her and her kids, and she's still going back with this dude. And I found, I'm in Sacramento, California now, and I found out that she is like, got the dude at my apartment, mm-hmm. you know? And I'm like, don't have nothing else to do with this guy. She's like, sure, Uncle, I'm not going to have nothing else to do with him. I appreciate you taking me and all this and all that there. I'm like, come on. Okay, so what kind of Why? advice would you would you give him? Did, does that make sense to you, that story? Uh, you know, the, th- the the bottom line is, is you know, it's like, what do you really actually have control of? You know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. you know, uh, 
if 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 you if you have the control to uh, basically stop that, which I don't think you do, and that's not because uh, you don't know what you're doing. But I think that if they weren't there, they'd move some other place, and it would the, the circle would be continuing. You know. All right, you, you hear that, Dell? All right, yo, Paul. I want to thank you for coming through, man. Thanks we, for having me. We rock out with you, man. Just real quick, did you ever get a chance to like hug? Um, what's her name? Diana Mendoza. Uh, <laughs> did you, no? I did. I did, did, did quite did, a few did, times. Did you do a little, <laughs> little quick little pelvic thrust? <laughs> any pelvic thrust in there? No, no. You take advantage of that moment. What about Aubrey? You, she probably pelvic thrust too. Nothing happened. That's, yeah. No. No. Nothing. No. Happened. Yeah. What's the other girl name? The um the beautiful um the older Asian woman. Well, she's not oh, older, but um. Patricia. Uh, but, uh, no, she's uh, Venezuelan also. Is she? She both of those girls. Both of yeah. girls. Yeah. Oh, okay, mm. that's not the one I'm talking about then. Uh, oh. Teresa. No, no. Tia Carrera. Tia, Tia Carrera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She's, she's a she's a she's a nice girl, you know. Yeah. Um, but she's very pretty. Yeah. Not a pelvic thruster. <laughs> Help me out here, will you? Okay. All right, Paul Senior, man. Thank you for coming through, man. (laughs) Hey, come back anytime, man. Hang out with us, Thank you. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. Okay. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.